Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Seahawks and the 49ers. Two offensive-minded teams, just moments to kick off a final thought, Phil. Well, the fans are going to get what they want. The NFL is going to get what they want, too. A lot of scoring, a lot of big plays. It's going to be exciting. Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Lines up here. First and ten. He'll go ground. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Pitches it back. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. First down here after the run. Staying on the ground. Gets past the first fumble. Reed is there and makes the play. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it, he didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. That's a timeout by the defense. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Lynch. Left side. It's often the difference maker in any game, and that is how you perform inside the red zone, and we're getting an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Escaping the pressure, Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Mm -hmm. 
second and goal from the seven. Getting away from the pressure. The defense comes up with yet another sack. Bill, the quarterback, gets sacked once again. Well, I'm not blaming any of the players. I'm blaming the coach, Jim. That time, a terrible time to, to call that kind of play where you're going to make the quarterback hold the football so long. In his hands, complete. Touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal, you've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Looking to scramble, looking to the right side and throwing. They tackle him for a loss. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down. Dropping back three. Reaches out and grabs it. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. As he moves across the first down yardage and a new set of downs. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner, knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive, crowd on the line of scrimmage, and you just, you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Perth, San Francisco, touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The 49ers for the extra point. The flag is down. Oh, he actually misses the point after. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. So, the kick down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Give his team great starting field position on that return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, 
And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Touchdown, Seattle. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about, making big plays. And when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Muscles through the defender. in the backfield. First and 10. On the run. Tackled at the 18. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second down and eight. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Good fake. Scrambling out of the pocket. It's away from the stack. Brought down at the 47-yard line. The 49ers still driving as the second quarter gets underway. Ohio. Quarters formation here for the defense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. In on the stop. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Now first and ten. Gets away from the pressure. There is a flag down. Incomplete. Well, Philly he scrambled around, and then he moved past the line of scrimmage when he made that throw. You know, all you have to do, Jim, you, as long as some part of your body is at or behind the line of scrimmage when the football leaves your hand, that's legal. That time, easy to see quarterback way past the line of scrimmage. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He's looking to go down the field here. 49ers in for the score. The fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. On first down. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Lynch with an impressive run. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. 
quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Makes the reception. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. First down following the long play. Lynch is handed the football. Bowman with the hit. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. And they're going to run it right. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Count it. Touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. They're all over him at the 18-yard line. Frank Gore is in the backfield, running away from the pressure. Ball is out. Minute warning. Gores in the backfield, single back set. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch and he's got the first. Another name for the fly route, the go route. It's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. How do you stop these receivers down? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Touchdown, San Francisco. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle. Bad tackling. You name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. The 49ers take the lead with this extra point try. Extra point is good. <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Got a little crease, and the tackle is made at the 41. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense, you did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs.
It's now second down. Going across the middle. And Rice has got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That that's Reed makes the interception. Nice that was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Colin Kaepernick under center, first and ten. Going to take off with it. Has some space to work with. Gore is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the corner that time, knocking the football down on the throw down the field by the quarterback. That will go down as a pass defense by him. Good job. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Third and three. And intercepted. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Screen pass. And for about six, the Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. They face first down. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Brings it in. Runs out of bounds. Well, when you got four defensive backs playing deep, you are going to have a lot of wide open space underneath. We saw at that time and another easy completion for the quarterback and receiver. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Interception. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. to the right, right where it had to be. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch.
A short field goal try on the way. That's a delay of game. Still first down. Only eight yards to go. They come to the line and it's first down. Wilson's got it in the gun, challenging the defenders to the right side. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers lead by one. Looks like the receiving team has recovered. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Gore's got it on the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Gore's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second down and 10, right where it had to be. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Frank Gore gets it here. Second down coming up. Power surge. Touchdown. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. They're setting up return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap as they go ground here and a gain of four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That leads us to second down. Escaping the pressure. And he's out of bounds. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First down here. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. He's got room. Gains 13. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Halfway through the third quarter, throwing now to his left, and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too, the way you hit it everywhere, but this offense, they're clicking, they're making plays to see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. First down and 10. Gets away from the pressure. He's got a little bit of daylight here, and he's going to slide feet first. Eight, 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 eight. 
Second down now. Lynch. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. First and 10, middle. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Lynch is shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That brings the play to an end. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. First and goal. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Looking to the right. Touchdown. This game is tight. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end. Because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. Lining up now for the two. Wilson's going to keep it on the sneak. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. got a chance to return this one let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini guys I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official Navarro Bowman's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious yes he'll be sore tomorrow guys but that's not going to stop him from returning today and here he goes touchdown how about the blocking up front Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The 49ers now will tack on the extra point. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. And a flag comes out. They have the ball back, and the play's continuing. That onside kick did not travel 10 yards. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. They've got a first down now after that catch. Into the open flat going to be a tackle for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Fifteen minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Seahawks have the football as the fourth quarter gets started.
An extra tight end on the field for this one. Throws the pass. He makes the catch. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That reception gave them the first down. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, that was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. He'll fire it out to the left. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Double tight end formation. Hand off. Breaks free. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it. And he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. First to 10, and the give to Frank Gore. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap Still count. First down. Ohio. That flag gives them a new set of downs. He's scrambling now. Quarterback giving himself up. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show him something different here and keep him from scoring a touchdown? Trying to make something happen. Runs it in for the touchdown. In today's game, you know, Jim, you always have to be alert in situations when the quarterback drops back the pass. You've got to think he might be able to run out of the pocket. And that time, the defense not alert for it. Nobody's there, and he scrambles in for a touchdown. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. The point after is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. Escaping the pressure. The throw to the left, and the throw, it's incomplete. is running out the defense knows is playing with the lead but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock second and ten Marshawn Lynch takes the football fights through that hit good job on the ground there by Lynch that's where you need the big size on your defense you need an inside in other words 
You need big defensive linemen that can cover the center and the guards to stop these runs right up the middle. Has the first down. Now looking for more. It's Navarro Bowman in on the play. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Lynch, the tackle was made. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one lap. Reed makes the interception. Good piece of tackle. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it, and inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. First down, offense reading for the snap. Gains 16. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Pistol formation. Man Man round, round, round. First and ten. Gore. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Gores lined up in a single back formation. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, Jim, that didn't fool the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. The 49ers come out in the pistol. Michael James gets the carry. A tackle that had to be made. A battle set up for down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Ohio! 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 Frank Gore is in the backfield. Hauls it in for the first down. That was a good call by the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call, and they get a big first down. Ohio! Setting up in the pistol on this play. and 10. Frank Gore gets it here. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end and what a game it was. Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition and you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim.